Oh, at nine profit crackdown, state lawmakers debating whether or not to penalize oil refiners here in California. The penalty would be if they earn what legislators call excessive profits at the pump. KCAL News political reporter Tom Wade is in the newsroom now mm -hmm. to explain all this. Tom? Intriguing, right? Yeah. Governor Newsom <laughs> first pitched this idea late last year, setting record profits made by the oil companies, while California drivers were paying some of the highest prices ever seen in the state. Record-breaking prices at the pump in California are fueling record-shattering profits for oil companies. Now state legislators are considering what they're calling a price-gouging penalty to punish companies whose profit margins are too high at gas stations across the state. Chevron doubled its profits. Marathon has a 331% increase in Q4. Valero has almost 900% increase in profits. Wednesday, the state Senate's Energy Committee hosted energy officials from the state and other experts to weigh in on imposing a profit penalty. All of the penalty would start only after refiners have been allowed to earn a healthy profit on each gallon sold. Just not an extreme margin of the sort we saw last October that hurts California families. If there is revenue from the penalty, it would go to alleviate the impact, the burden that California consumers are, are feeling. They're relatively new, so it's hard to figure, you know, I, I don't think we have a long-term view. On average, Californians pay well over a dollar more than the national average. A big reason for that is the state is essentially a fuel island. Plus, 98% of gas refining is controlled by five refiners, and the state requires special fuel blends to reduce pollution. Even so, some experts say oil companies are exploiting California. California's unique situation. I felt like today we had pretty good agreement among senators that this could not stand. The level of profits while consumers are paying $6 at the pump just is not acceptable and they wanted to send that message to the oil refiners. But representatives for the refiners say a profit penalty will only make the situation worse. The solution is not in profits or windfall profits tax. That's not the issue. The, the solution proposed is not going to provide relief to consumers. And it's what we've been saying all along. It's what the, the Energy Commission, in fact, has said all along. You know, what affects price, prices for consumers are our energy policies, uh, are, are the market, the, the, the tax and regulatory environment here in California, the higher cost of doing business in California, and the unique fuel supplies uh, blends that we have in the state. But why are prices so high, even when you account for the special blends and limited refining capacity? There's been a lot of talk about like a mystery surcharge, for example, and and there is. There's actually a it, there's a higher cost of doing business in California that we're aware of. And for example, refining costs twice as much in California compared to other parts of the state. Uh, retailers, there's less competition at the retail level, um, less gas stations, and, and the cost for retailer is is higher. It's still not clear how this penalty money would potentially be put back in consumers' pockets. Also, this remains in committee for a vote and still would need to go to the full Senate for a vote, then the Assembly, and then finally to the governor, who would, of course, be expected to sign it. I'm Tom Waite, live in the newsroom, KCAL News.